He's headed for the end zone. Ball is loose, though, as he's hit at the goal line. Here comes Janine Becky. Janine Becky all by herself in the belly box. She shoots it. She scores! Janine Becky! Touchdown, Red Raiders! This is our time. This is our time to rise up higher than ever before. It's our time to show this country how proud we are and how special it is to be at Texas Tech. Red Raider Nation, we ride together. Coach, it's been a long eight and a half months, but the week we've been building for, you've been building this program for, it's finally here. Can you give me a glimpse into the atmosphere and the excitement? They're getting excited. I know they're tired of hitting each other, so they're ready to hit another, another jersey. But it's been a great camp. Been really proud of their effort and excited to see what we do on Friday. Talk about the installation of your offense and kind of where you see it. There's some position battles that are still very much open and will be until Friday, but how has the leadership been from some of your older guys who are locked in? Yeah, it's been good. There, there's guys on the scene that have played a lot of football and, and made a bunch of huge plays for Texas Tech, and, and we've really leaned on those guys to step up and show these younger guys what we're all about, and, and they've done a good job of it. You've got some familiar, familiarity with June Jones and his staff just from your time at Houston and over the few, past few years. What can you tell us about what you expect from the Mustangs? You know, they do an incredible job coaching, uh, all three phases really. And Coach Jones is, is known as an offensive mind. He brought in Hal Mummy, um, but only helped that. And, and defensively with Coach Mason, they're attacking, they've turned people over. So it's a huge challenge for, for our first game, and we know that. Does it help to prepare a bit? They've got a fifth year senior quarterback in Garrett Gilbert, but no matter who we start, whether it be Michael Brewer, Baker Mayfield, or Davis Webb, there's some familiarity around those guys as well. Being three from Lake Travis, does that help you guys? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I know uh, they were a lot younger than Garrett, and so <laughs> they, they probably they looked up to him, wore his jersey on the sideline yeah. there at Lake Travis. But um, he, he, he's going to have a tremendous senior year, and, and uh, excited to watch him play the rest of the year. And, and I know those guys, young guys are excited to play against him. SMU did give up some yardage though in the running game and that is one of the strengths of this team. Does that give you some excitement too going into Friday? I hope so. We'd like to get our backs involved early. Um, they, they've had great camps and both of them can, can take it you know, to the house anytime they touch it. And with a young quarterback, you, you'd like to take some, some pressure off him early. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. As obviously the first game, you got some nerves to work out, but what's going to be key on Friday to bring a W back to Lubbock? Protect the football. I think you looked at their turnover margin last year. They were top five in the country at taking people away, and then they protected it. So we have to protect the football with our young quarterback and, and then get turnovers on defense. The last time the Red Raiders played on a Friday night in the regular season, you were the quarterback, and it was a shutout victory. No doubt that'll be Friday night's response to that. <laughs> I hope so. That'd, that'd be nice. <laughs>